Hey, what's up everybody? It's Charlie from Raging Entertainment and today's video I wanted to talk about Disney not really caring about physical media anymore because the other day, which was yesterday, I had put out a review on my thoughts on the new Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl 4K and it just was the worst 4K ever, as in it's the worst that Disney has ever put out for mastering purposes. And it's sad because they used to care about physical media. It seems like all they're really trying to do now is trying to get people to focus on the streaming. Well, not everybody wants to stream, and that's something that always gets on my nerves about Disney is that they're all about the money, this and that. And it's like, well, if you're really all about the money, you should also care about the people who want to, say, pay the money to be able to keep you in business, so to speak. And the reason why I say it like that is because they used to care about physical media. Like, they used to actually put time and effort into physical media, you know, as in whenever something would be out of the vault. You know, you get a limited time to go ahead and buy these exclusives, like whether it's a Diamond Edition, you know, or um, what do they call it? Um, deluxe Edition or something like that in general. But... Um, but they don't really do that anymore, and it's really sad because they're strictly trying to get you to go to streaming. And the only movies that I have, 4K-wise, that I consider decent are their Pixar stuff. But then again, you don't necessarily have to like upgrade the Pixar stuff to the 4K format. It still looks good either way. But... And, you know, and it's understandable why people still even buy DVDs, because they're affordable, and they're not too expensive, you know, it, it just, I don't know, Disney has done a lot to kind of push consumers away from buying physical media, it seems like, because, you know, example, I have, a, well, let me put it over here, I have 101 Dalmatians right here, and I, and it has a slipcover and everything on it, you know, it has the special features and whatnot, and it's a Blu-ray DVD digital copy, but, of course, I don't have the digital copy anymore, but, you know, this is one of my childhood, you know, favorite movies in general from Disney, and they used to put a lot of effort into the actual packaging, you know, and they used to come with slipcovers, and, oh, and I think this is called a signature edition, kind of thing. That's what it was. So that's what I mean. Like they actually had put time and effort. And not only that, but they would put time and effort in other stuff that looked like box sets or whatever it may be. Um, I know you have to do the Disney movie club to get certain titles that are like, say, not exclusive on like, say, Best Buy, Amazon, or even eBay. But yet sometimes people will buy off a of Disney movie club just to resell it onto eBay or Mercari or wherever it may be, just to make a little quick buck and possibly a little bit more. And it's sad because movies like Flight of the Navigator, you can't get it on Blu-ray unless you actually do the DisneyMovie.com, DisneyMovieClub.com, sorry. And uh, Man of the House, uh, what's another one? Pollyanna. There's just a lot of Disney movies that you cannot get unless you're a part of their Disney Movie Club, too. And I'm not knocking their movie club or anything like that, but in a way I am because... In order to get, like, say, special deals, you have to buy one of their items at a regular price, which is like that $25 to $30, and then, say, get, like, 101 Dalmatians for, like, 10 bucks, Something like that, you know what I mean? And it saddens me that Disney does not want to even pursue the actual physical media platform anymore and give them special treatments like Pirates of the Caribbean because... That had so much potential to look fantastic. And I mean fantastic. And this one was more of just like they just threw it in and said, there you go. And that was it. And it came out on a Sunday. It didn't come out on a Tuesday, which is usually regular release days for movies. And it's just sad, you know. And I've always wondered... <clears throat> why Disney even does that anymore. Like, I know that they've merged with Fox now. They bought Fox, and Speed being one of the titles that came out. It, the, the master was already there. That's the thing. The mastering 4K for Speed was already there. What they just did is that they just pushed it out, basically. So that way they can make their money back from, you know, the work that it went into it. And I wish they would go back and get catalog titles and actually give them the special treatment 
because there's a lot of movies that we feel like that deserve the upgrade, the upscale, whatever you want to call it, whether it's regular Blu-ray or the 4K format, you know, because the, the reason why I brought up like 101 Dalmatians is because there are other movies like Pinocchio, for example, being another one, which is a signature collection, you know, thing. And, you know, because this is a great movie, too. This would be kind of an interesting select to, say, give a 4K. But then again, you don't necessarily have to because this Blu-ray looks really good in general. But it just saddens me because, like I said, out of all Disney movies that are out there, there's a lot that could get a really good 4K transfer, like the Swiss Family Robinson, you know, that being, you know, a classic right there. That could get a 4K, you know, and people actually enjoy those types of movies. The older classics, you know, like, uh, what was it? Um, I'm forgetting the name of it, you know, that, like, Flubber, The Son of Flubber, something like that, you know, the, those really old classic movies, basically. And, you know, and, like, even the older, like, animation, Sleeping Beauty, give this one a 4K, possibly, but I know you guys won't. It's sad, you won't, but deep. again, these are types of movies that you don't necessarily have to give the 4K treatment because they already look good as just a standard 1080p Blu-ray. And, you know, Disney, you guys really need to step up your game. And in my honest opinion, you really need to step up your game because you're going to have all these other companies like Sony, um, well, Lionsgate's mainly the one who's, like, pushing out really good artwork for, you know, steelbooks and stuff like that. But Sony does really good transfers. Fox does really good transfers. Um, what are the other types? Um, like, Arrow Video does good. And Shout Factory does good. Kino Lorber, they're a hit and miss for me. But they all do a lot better than you do. No offense to the Disney company, but it seems like that these other companies are going to blow your guys' ass out of the water for physical media. And that's sad because you guys used to care about physical media really much. I said that wrong. You guys used to care about it very much. And you don't even care about it anymore. And it's like I said with The Curse of the Black Pearl, you guys just kind of threw it out there, you know? And I know that there was the Pirates Dead Man Tell No Tales one, but I didn't get to see that one on the 4K. I saw it in the theater, of course, you know, got to see the movie itself, but... I didn't get to see it in the 4K to really, like, say, compare that. But you guys have really gone downhill with your physical media, and it's sad. It seems like the only stuff that's actually even going to look good are your Pixar type of stuff. And that's about it. And it'd be nice to see the older classic movies get, you know, 4K transfers. Like Pollyanna. Pollyanna is a great example. I'm going to grab it be right back. See, Pollyanna would be a great example of what Disney could do if they were to actually give any type of classic a 4K treatment. Now, of course, this is like a standard, like, 1080p. It's either 1080p or 720, one or the other. I think it's 1080p, though. But it looks good for what it is, don't get me wrong, for being a high-def, you know, um movie in general, it looks good for what it is. This would be a prime example of what you could do or return to Oz. This would look amazing in the 4K format. So why don't you guys actually like go through your catalogs and actually give them the proper treatment they deserve? Even Flight of the Navigator. Come on. You guys got to be able to do something. It's just sad that you guys are not listening to the fans who are the ones who support your company. Because guess what? Without fans, you don't have a business. Remember that. And I, I know that people do choose streaming over physical media, don't get me wrong, but there are plenty of physical media collectors out there that would love to have this in 4K, this on 4K, and a plethora of others on 4K. Or hell, even movies that were, a, say, a DVD that never got a Blu-ray treatment at all, or even never got a physical release. Like, come on, it'd be nice. Like with your Disney Plus shows, Mandalorian... The Book of Boba Fett, the WandaVision, Loki, all those shows. Why not give those bl at least a Blu-ray release, if anything? Give them a Blu-ray release. Be nice if you gave them a 4K release. Don't get me wrong, I know money would go into that, but I guarantee you'd have a lot of people who'd be interested. And I mean a lot of people. So I say that Disney needs to get their stuff together without trying to, like, say, swear too much on my channel kind of thing. And... Yeah, I mean, because that, that's where my heart is. 
That's where my heart is, is that Disney, I know you can get your crap together and I know you can push out 4K content if you really wanted to. And it's sad because movies that are like, say, from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you're now putting those at IMAX ratio on the Disney Plus, but yet you couldn't do that to the physical media, which is even more sad because now you got a lot of people who are physical media collectors who collect those movies that are more pissed off that you'd rather do it for the streaming service, but you wouldn't do it for the physical media part of it. And and yeah, you guys have literally gone downhill. And I and don't get me wrong, I love Disney. I love Disney movies, but as part of a supporter for physical media, until you guys can start putting out actual good, strong content again, I don't see myself buying any more Disney. And that's sad, you know, because I am a part of the Disney movie club. I am a part of it. And I haven't bought anything since Man of the House and Flight of the Navigator. And that was last year, like maybe summer. Oh, yeah, so good long time but that's just my thought and rant on disney basically not caring about physical media anymore and if you guys agree give a thumbs up or comment down below share with your friends and see who actually agrees you know because that'd be cool to see who actually does agree and who disagrees but yeah so yeah give a thumbs up comment down below be sure to turn on your bell notifications that way you are up to date on any video that i do put out and Hopefully you guys subscribe and all that kind of stuff too. That way it supports my channel and you're supporting me in any way, shape, and form by my Amazon wishlist, my PayPal, or whatever link I put down below from Amazon for that little tiny kickback, which is like a commission in a sense if you really think about it. But I have really nothing to put down in the Amazon link today because there's really nothing to say because... Um, like I said, because Return to Oz, Pollyanna, they're really not Amazon titles that you can get. Now... These might be. I don't know. I haven't really looked, but it's very possible. I'd have to look that up. And if they are, I'm, I'm most likely not going to put anything down below. But I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys stay safe. Stay tuned. Thank you.